So how do we diagnose chronic kidney disease? Before we diagnose it, I want to familiarize you with the term GFR. This stands for glomerular filtration rate. This is the rate that your kidneys are cleaning your blood. The normal GFR in a healthy young male is 120 ml per minute. In a healthy young female, it's 100 ml per minute. As your kidney function declines, your GFR goes down. Say it's 50, 40, 30. When you're down to 10 or 15, you're near dialysis. This is the term your doctors are referring to when they say your kidneys are functioning at 50% or your kidneys are functioning at 35%. Chronic kidney disease is divided into five stages depending upon your GFR. The reason we've done this is one, to create uniformity amongst healthcare providers so we know what stage each person is in. Two, to estimate disease prevalence. How many people are in stage one, and two, and three? And three, to identify who's at risk for developing complications. The higher stage of CKD you have, the more at risk you are for developing complications, such as high potassium or accumulating acid in your body.